Guys, welcome back to the channel. If you own a Sea-Doo 325 and you want to go faster than the 68 miles an hour that these are limited to, and you want to keep your warranty, follow along. This is from Riva Motorsports. This is the Map Tuner Nano. And when you open this box, you got this beautiful little piece. And this is going to be the key to your kingdom to get past that 68 miles an hour and keep your warranty. So the 325s have been out for a little while. They came out last November, December, whatever it was. If you lived in the South, like Florida, you've already had the opportunity to ride it. There's already been people trying to tune these things and make them faster. If you own a 300, uh, previously, you know that the SCOM or the PIL, or there's various things you can plug right into that, that data port that's gonna bypass the GPS uh, override. Uh, unfortunately, on the 325, up until now, there has been nothing. The only options you've had is to send out your ECU and get it retuned, or someone's going to send you a tuner and they're going to uh, they're going to go into your system and they're going to do it remotely. Uh, personally, I've been skeptical of that for the sheer fact of at some point you're writing something to your ECU. And if there is a problem with the motor or there is a problem with, with the machine, the first thing that BRP asks for is what they call a BUDS report. And that's going to tell them exactly everything that you've done to your, to your machine. So they're going to see in there somewhere that something's been changed. Now they say that the speed, that the GPS override doesn't change anything. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, but at the end of the day, you are writing to your ECM, uh, ECU, and I held out. So the beauty of this is this is what we would remember as the SCOM in the 300s or the PIL or whatever unit you used to override your GPS speed limiter. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works, but the beauty of this has, it's not only a SCOM, it's also a diagnostic tool, and it also will tell you what your, what your unit, what your PwC is doing. So let's show you how to install it. Step one, take off your seat. Super simple. If you don't know how to do this, uh, well, you shouldn't be buying this anyway. Step two, take this out of the box. Step three. So right at your coolant reservoir, you're going to see it here in a second. There is a plug that's plugged right into that's parked into that coolant reservoir. What you're going to do is you're going to unplug it and you're going to plug it in here. Just like you would if you had a SCOM or anything else, that's where you plugged it in. Now I've already paired mine, but in order to pair yours, you're going to push and hold this button and that light is going to flash rapidly blue. So in your box, it's going to come with a QR code, but you're going to download the Map Tuner app and go ahead and open it up. Now, I'm already connected, so if you weren't connected, in the bottom corner, it's going to ask you uh, if you'd like to connect. As long as you've pushed the button on your Map Tuner so it's blinking and in pairing mode, it'll connect. Now you're connected to your Map Tuner and simply go to Settings, and you'll see here SCOM Run map tuner in SCOM mode. If that is on, it will literally override uh, the speed control module and it will let it go past the 68 miles an hour. Now on top of that, this will do other things. This will tell you if you have uh, engine codes, fault codes, you can monitor uh, engine boost and you can get a whole bunch of different parameters uh, on this screen as well. So once the map tuner is installed, it does have to stay plugged into the machine in order to override that speed control. Now this unit is completely bone stock. I did break 14 hours on it. Uh, so they do say don't, don't base any of your top speeds until after 10 hours. I broke 14, I plugged this in, we were just on the water and I saw 76 miles an hour with no other uh, modifications whatsoever. Super humid day. I know this new supercharger is not supposed to be as sensitive to the humidity as the old ones, but just pointing it out and not perfectly rough water. We probably could have squeezed another mile, mile an hour out of it. Let's call it 77. So doing nothing to it besides plugging that in. We got 76 miles an hour on a completely bone stock 325. And the beauty of it is when you unplug that map tuner, it's like it never existed uh, and it goes back to normal. So there's, you're not leaving any records, you're not leaving any, any marks on your ECM, ECU. It's completely warranty safe. And again, the beauty of this map tuner is if you own a Ski-Doo or Can-Am or any other uh, different um, BRP style uh, power sports toys, that map tuner will be a diagnostic tool for those other toys as well. So for the <clears throat> for the cost, you're getting tons of bang for your buck. 
I'll leave a link in the description on where you can purchase it. Huge thanks to River Racing for, uh, for helping us out. The one thing I should mention, if you already have a map tuner, make sure you update your firmware because the latest firmware is the only firmware that includes this SCOM uh, feature on it. Uh, and depending when you bought your map tuner and depending when it was shipped, it may not have been shipped with the latest firmware. So make sure that you've got your firmware up to date in order to see that new feature. In my opinion, it's the absolute best tool and the best method for bypassing the speed control override uh, that these these uh, that these 325 CDUs have in the States. If you're lucky enough to live somewhere else, you don't have this, but we do. And uh, guys, as always, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next, and we'll see you on the water.